Don't stop, let's color. Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to be doing Python and the last topic of all, the final project. So let's go ahead and get started. So the final project is going to be the fake news detection system. Now, this is going to be the problem statement. So as you can see, in this project, the problem is not only hackers going into account and sending false information. Like some hacker just logged in your account and says, click on accept and you will receive $10,000, you can say. But the bigger problem is what we call fake news. So a fake are those news stories that are false. A story itself is fabricated with known verifiable facts, sources, or codes. Like, someone just said, I won this spelling bee. Follow me for no new techniques to win it also. But he did not send any photo or any medal that he won it. So would you guys trust him? No, right? So when someone or something like a bot, it impersonates someone on a reliable source to spread false information, that can also be considered fake news. Like, you just posted a code on how to live your life happily. And a bot or someone else just copied that code and said it was originally my idea, no copy pasting, and, you know, People might believe him and follow him instead of you. Now, that also called fake news because someone just copied you. So, in you know, in more cases, people creating the false information have an agenda that can be political, economical, or to change the behavior or thought about a topic. In other words, this all means that we need to stop the fake news detection. Like we need to stop the fake news spreading, the false, false news and communication so that our world can become a more clear picture. So now this data set that we're going to use contains two files, one for real and one for fake news. And of course, they both are in English. So with a total of 50 fake tweets or fake news and 50 real articles. So hence, we need a better system that helps us to understand the patterns of fake news to improve our social media, communication, and to prevent the confusion in the world. So we are going to be using four models, which is going to be logistic regression, decision tree classifier, random forest classifier, and KNN classifier too. And what we're going to do, we are going to train our model, machine learning model, that discriminates, means identify between the fake and the true news articles when it is trained on a certain data set. So we're going to predict the fake or true on the basis of a text column present in the data. So, logistic regression, decision tree classifier, random forest classifier, and KNN classifier. Here, we're going to check out which one is going to be better in predicting. So, now the steps are to load the library and the data set files, exploratory data analysis, and cleaning feature extraction. The second step means to get more information about the data set. Now, we're going to perform the train to split to the model to separate the training data and the testing data. Now we're going to do the comparative study and decide the final classification model. And then we're going to predict whether the news text is fake or real. So between the four models that I have described right now, we're going to choose one of them, which is going to be, be the best and predict and using that model, we're going to predict whether the news is going to be real or fake. So we're now going to move on to the coding part, which is going to be in the next two videos. So stay tuned till then and watch it to the end. I'll see you next time.